it's always terrible for her. <laughs> Today is Christmas. We waited with anticipation to see what gifts we would get. Many were wrapped in beautiful wrapping paper and decorated with bows and tinsel and pretty ribbon. But if you've noticed, there is a sad part. The seeming letdown after you had unwrapped all of your gifts. Not because you didn't get what you wanted, but because there is something magical about unwrapping those gifts and the anticipation and the excitement that goes with what lies beneath the wrapping paper. We should applaud. <laughs> I promise I'll be short. <laughs> Most of us, if I were to ask, probably could not remember what they got for Christmas last year, what gifts they unwrapped. But I want all of us to know that there is a gift that we can unwrap every day of our lives. It is, in fact, the gift that takes a lifetime to unwrap, and it is the greatest gift of all. On that first Christmas when baby Jesus came, he gave us all a gift of enormous value. First Corinthians 9.15 tells us, Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. Paul wanted us to know that we could not put a price on the gift God has given us in Jesus. In the Christmas story, the shepherds realized what an enormous gift they had been given. The wise men understood as they tried to bring gifts to a king, but they knew his life was worth more than gold or frankincense or myrrh. What gift 
can compare to never dying, never suffering, but living eternal. It is indescribable at best, and it is of enormous value. It was the greatest gift ever given and cost more than anything ever could and yet was given to each and every one of us freely. Many times when we get things that are precious to us, that are of enormous value, we want to keep it for ourselves. But that is not what Jesus wants us to do. The greatest gift of all is also always a gift to give away. Acts 20 verse 35 says, In everything I did, I showed you that by this kind of hard work we must help the weak. Remembering the words the Lord Jesus said himself, it is more blessed to give than to receive. This gift that we have been given was meant for us to give to others. It is not just our gift, but a gift for all to receive. This time of Christmas is a time to give the most precious, indescribable gift ever given. It, it is a gift that takes a lifetime to unwrap, an indescribable gift. It is a gift that truly changes the life of everyone who gets it. I have not found one Christian in my 25 plus years of walking with God that has said, since I got saved, my life is worse than it was before. Why? Because God's gift of salvation is meant to change the life of everyone who receives it. It changed the lives of the shepherds that day. In verse 20 of chapter 2 of Luke, the shepherds, it says, the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. They realized their life would never be the same again from that day forward. Such is the same response to all who embrace the gift of the Christ child. 
Before I received the gift, I walked this earth alone, forsaken, without hope. But after receiving this gift, Jesus walks with me every day. I am not alone. I am not broken. I am forgiven. And my hope is restored. <laughs> my congregation wishes I was too. <laughs> I know that many of us couldn't wait to unwrap the gifts that were under the tree. But I want to remind us all that the unwrapping of the most precious gift of all is not just to be once on Christmas Day. It is a gift that is meant to be unwrapped every day for the rest of our lives. The child that was born in the manger that day was a gift wrapped in swaddling cloths. But as we unwrap that gift, we can all see that it is a gift of enormous value a gift that is to be given away and a gift that changes every life that receives it may we truly be changed by the greatest gift of all. Amen. Would you come up here just for a minute? <laughs> Didn't she do fabulous? Thank <laughs> you. 